This is the Backbone One. I've had this for about six months now. I bought it earlier this year. This is a controller for your iPhone. It's probably one of the best controllers that I have used for mobile gaming. It easily opens up and you fit your iPhone inside. No type of wireless connection. It connects straight to the lightning connector. And there's not much more that I can say that's bad about this phone. Or about, rather, this controller. Now, I ran into an issue about a month ago with the iPhone 12 where I tried to connect the Backbone controller to it and it wouldn't respond. Wouldn't work properly. I thought the Backbone controller was broken. But, thankfully... I could test it with my iPhone 10s Max, which I still own. Anyways, when I tested it with that controller, I found out that it wasn't the backbone. It was actually the lightning port of my iPhone 12, which was giving me the issue. And um, that kind of sucks. But. I knew that the 13 was coming out. I knew that it was going to be, I knew I was going to be interested in it. And so I decided to wait it out. I wasn't going to see about getting the uh, 12 lightning port fixed. I was just going to wait for the 13. And when I saw that keynote, pray that they did not switch the connector to USB-C. Otherwise, no backbone. They didn't do that. They stuck with the lightning port. I'm glad they did. I ordered the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And um, of course it was bigger than the 12. I needed to go back. I needed to go back to a bigger phone. Before that was the 10S Max. And I love that phone. I thought I'd be comfortable with a smaller phone and uh, it served me well for a year, but I'm glad to get something bigger again. Anyways, that brings us to today where I have the 10, blah, 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 all these numbers are confusing me. The 13 Pro, the 13 Pro Max. And uh, immediately ran into a little problem that I wasn't expecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. Now I'm going to switch it right after I show you what it's supposed to look like. We're going to take our 10X Max. We are going to plug it up. Now, for some reason, Backbone suggests you put the lightning connector in first and then tuck it into this side. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me because then you're kind of bending the USB port, which I feel like would hurt it more than be effective. So I always tuck the top side in first and then plug the USB in so that it goes in flush. There's no bending. It connects like that. And as you can see in the back, that's how it's supposed to look. Hopefully I'm using the cinematic mode as a test. So if that turns out fuzzy, that means I was not able to properly fix it the way I wanted to. But that's a video for another time. Anyways, I'm going to have to switch phones so that I can show you what the other angle looks like and uh, show you the issue that the 13 Pro Max has with the Backbone controller. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so now we've switched cameras. We've switched over to the iPhone 10X Max, S Max, X Max. S match. I can't remember what that old phone was called. It's the other camera. And I'm using an app called ProTake in order to see if I can get that similar cinematic feel that uh, the new iPhones are touting. We'll see the difference in post. But anyway, let's go ahead and connect the new iPhone to it. We're able to tuck it in that side. We're able to plug it in this side, and you mm, will immediately see the problem if I zoom in a bit. It's not actually tucked in on this side properly. That is because, as you can see, 
if it wants to focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus. There we go. It's too thick. That camera bump actually rubs up against the back of the backbone. Now you can try to fit it in like that and it does get tucked in, but that bend does not look good. And you definitely don't wanna, I wouldn't want to constantly have that bend like that every time I put it on. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But fortunately, um, Backbone decided to uh, make an adapter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you the Reddit post here that shows that adapter. Uh, and it's available for free as a, uh, as a 3D print file, which I thought was pretty awesome because usually when you deal with situations like this, you don't expect something to always be supported. They can't cover all of their bases and support something forever. At some point, you're going to have to upgrade. You're going to have to do better. But in this particular case, they, they didn't go that route. They didn't force you to buy something brand new just so that it could fit something else that you decided to upgrade. They went the route of fixing the problem and making it easily accessible. And I've got to give them a ton of credit for that. That's what this video is about because not enough praise is given when companies actually try to look out for you rather than just go after your pockets. And if you're interested in getting the backbone controller, I still really recommend it. This is an issue only with the Pro Max version of the 13. From my understanding, the regular 13 and the 13 mini do not have this issue. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully I was able to maybe uh, move you all into getting the Backbone controller. If you are interested in still getting it, I am going to post my referral code in the link or the uh, description below. Use it and you get $10. I believe it's a $10 gift card. You'll get one, I'll get one. Nobody has taken advantage of that yet, but I'm not one to really advertise for a bunch of stuff. Even if I like it, I, it's not me. But anyway, if it's there, if you want to use it, if you want to take the same route I'll take. I used, I was going to make a video about this way earlier this year. Got the footage, never ended up doing it. But here we are now. Uh, here we are now talking about it. That's it for this video. And... Um, you can always join me on Twitch or hang around for whenever for whenever I decide to make another YouTube video. That's it for today. Take care. DV signing out.